No, there's not. Yeah, I remember I looked at this door before. It doesn't go anywhere. Alright, never mind. Mm. Okay, nope, can't get anywhere from there. Feel free to correct me if you know that there is a way to get through there. Please tell me. But we'll go back this way. Back to where the exit is. It's a neat place. It's a big place of nothing, really, though. There's, like, nothing here. Um, I'm pretty sure we already looked in here. Yeah. Obviously, that's how we turned that on. When I was over here before, something was showing up on my map, but it's not anymore, so I must have picked it up. Maybe it was, like, beneath us or above us or something, and I picked it up in a different room. Here. I don't think this goes anywhere. Kind of cool looking though, right? Alright. Pardon me, party. Pardon me. Open. Thank you. Yeah, see, we can't go that way. That makes sense. I'm okay with that. This is the way to the exit. And this is the place that I feel like we should be able to get through. And the fact that these nugs are here make me think that the game is trying to say, Hey, the nugs can get through, so can you. It wasn't doing anything. What? I didn't do anything. I didn't hurt him. Uh, I guess the game thinks that I just attacked some nugs. And my party's not too happy about that. I didn't. I didn't do anything. They disapproved, though, which I'm okay with. I mean, I'm okay with them disapproving because that's you know, why fight nugs? But I didn't fight them. Oh, whoops. Okay, can't break through that. No, face that way, dude. Huh. How do I get through? I mean, here it sure looks like there's more to explore over there. Doesn't it? Huh. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, what are the purpose of these nugs? I mean, they seem to be important because, um... Darn it. We talked about them, you know? And they're here. Oh, they probably came through under here, maybe? But I can't get through under there. I can't do anything about that. Well, I gotta tell you, that's uh, frustrating and disappointing. I mean, what is the purpose of all that? And what was the purpose with that... Summer stone or whatever it was over here that I could see but couldn't get it, can't get to. That's bizarre, man. I don't know. Oh man, I didn't want to kill the nug. I want. To... Oh well. Sorry, nugs. I guess I'll loot the nugs since we went ahead and killed them. Nug skin. Oh, they're all dead. My party's like, hey, let's finish this up. Go ahead and kill these nugs. Hmm. Would it be cool if it was like, you kill the nugs and then like an opening opens up? Wouldn't that be cool? But no. Well, that's just frustrating as all I all could be. I, yeah, like I said before, if there's a way over there, please feel free to let me know. Please. But since I can't get over there, we're just going to exit this cave. The game will let me. Okay, I'm ready to exit the cave. There we go.
Hmm. Where are we? Um. What is this place? Wow, we're way up here? What the heck? Where did we go in the caves? We went in the caves way over here. Holy mackerel. We don't, and this is where we exited the caves, I guess. And now we're over here. Well, that makes total sense. Alright. Huh. Okay. That's um, interesting. Now let's see if there's anything to see back here. I do love to explore. But it's looking like there's nothing to get back here. That looks suspicious. Alright, let's climb this. Follow me, party. Hmm. Man, where the heck am I? Oh, check it out. Okay, so this was quite a few episodes ago. Uh, another mosaic piece there. Loot. So, yeah, quite a few episodes episodes ago, we um, went into this cave, I believe, and we made it to a certain point. We made it to this door, actually. And we could look through this crack here, and we saw this lever that um, we couldn't, you know, we couldn't open this door. So now we could pull this lever, and I'm assuming it's going to open the door. What do you know? That's how we get out of here. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's very... Dark Souls. The original Dark Souls was very good about having places double back on themselves. It was very awesome. You need to play Dark Souls if you haven't played it. Come on. Come on! What are you waiting for? It's not that hard. Don't be that afraid. Yeah, so as we leave this place, we might as well go ahead and pick up our deep mushroom. I guess we really don't have to even do this. We could just fast travel back to camp, but um, this is more fun, right? Look at this. It's beautiful and sunny out here now. Look at this. What the heck is going on down there? We've got a Druffalo. Got a little fox down there. Let's not mess with the Druffalo, people. So, we are way up here, and down here is where Sister Vaughn is. Here is where the mayor is. We can fast travel to this location, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. What? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> travel? That was pretty fast travel, alright. Um, over here... Oh, well, this is really neat. It's all bright and sunny now. How freaking cool is this? This is neat. I really like this area. This is cool. I wonder if I can get in here now. Before I couldn't get in. Now I'm just going to help myself to this home. Okay, I'll just help myself to this loot. You guys don't mind, do you? Gold bracelet, amulet of power. And once again, my inventory is full. Ooh, this is an amulet of power for, of power for me. I want this. So if I come out here and I equip this amulet of power. Uh, oh, actually, I don't have anything. Let's go ahead and put my cooldown amulet back on. Now I can level up. Let's see here. Um, I still don't know where this Tempest business is. Is this it? Tempest. Ah, here we go. So this is my new specialization. Cool. These unpredictable experts specialize in using alchemical mixtures that wreathe them in frost or flame. Fast, chaotic, and possibly mad. They wade into the fight and dare enemies to face the storm. Hmm. Do I want to do fire or do I want to do frost? Interesting. Flask of fire. This flask coats you in flames that spur you to frenzied action. For a short time, your abilities cost no stamina 
and enemies who attack you are knocked backward. You can't use this ability while another elixir is active. Hmm. And this one, these two are pretty much the same. It's just that one is frost and one is fire. That's weird. This one gives me damage resistance. This one doesn't. This one seems to do more. Right? Huh. Except this one here, for a short time, my abilities cost no stamina. Um, I'm going to do fire because I have a couple other party members that do frost type stuff. So I'm just going to choose this. Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I could move these around. I want to move this one to here. I'm going to put these two in one and two because I need to get to them quick. These are kind of like evading things. Put my rift one way down here because I don't use it very often. And, um... Yeah, we'll try that. It's harder for me to reach seven and eight on my keyboard, so we'll put those there. Okay. What? I can loot it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I can loot this thing because I have a spot. And there's no sense in looting this. But, you know me, I really, really want to. So let's get rid of some crap that we are not interested in. Like, um, let's see here. Something really cheap. Like these stabs, these are not worth anything at all. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. And we'll see what's in this chest here. A Warhammer and a Vitar. Okay, more stuff that's useless that I just uh, fill up my inventory with. Okay, um, boing. So this is where the mare is, but I want to go up the whole hill here to Sister Vaughn first. Just cuz. That's why. Why? Cuz. That's why. Time to worry about planting the harvest. See. It is time to worry about planting the harvest. This is so neat how this place is all sunny now. This is the coolest. I really like how they did this. Uh, this might be my favorite area so far. This is really cool. Just very impressed. Just how, you know, half it was covered up by water and then we opened the dam and now it's not anymore. And then after you take care of that rift, it's all sunny out here. It's freaking cool, man. I like it. All right, sister. I found bodies for cremation. Mm. It will do us good to hold rights with the ones we lost so long ago. Thank you again. You're welcome again. Gosh, I'm awesome. Man. I tell you, it's tough being the the Inquisitor because he's just so awesome. Hey, look, a logging stand. Totally missed this last time. Yay, we found a logging stand. Unless we sing the logging stand song. Okay, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had to walk down that hill before. I think I did anyway. Is there anything in here? Did I go in here? Is there, is there anything in here? I did not go in here. Well, I'm just going to help myself to this loot. It's the kind of thing that I do. Oh, except that uh, I don't want this, and I don't want this. No thanks. Not interested. I would just destroy it anyway. It's not worth the trouble. Well, I guess. What was that? Why don't I just pass up? Oh, is everybody okay? Somebody just get hurt? Dorian just got hurt somehow. What the heck? Huh. Something showed up on my radar just a second ago, but now it's gone. I'm not going to worry about it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, look at our journal here, and we'll make this our main quest. I can inform the mayor that the rift is closed. Where is he? Uh-oh. 
Here we go. This is it. Mr. Mayor is gone. He left us a note. Quest completed. Letter of Confession. Inquisitor. It was not Darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded Old Crustwood ten years ago. I did, in secret, the night they attacked. The undead you have been fighting are people I killed with my own hands. We'd taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower part of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive, survive is if the Blight sick drowned with the monsters. I cannot bear the sight, Old Crestwood, now... What? I cannot bear the sight, Old Crestwood, now that the water is gone, I cannot stay. I'm sorry, Major Gregory Dedrick. So that explains the bodies that were down in the caves. Put the blight sickened the down of there. Confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago to stop the blight from spreading. Villagers learn about this, they're not going to be happy. What a sad mess. Hmm. Will the Inquisition bring him in? Hmm. I don't know. Will the Inquisition bring him in? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Huh. Pretty crazy. Oh, was there someone on this board over here? No. I think there was at some point, but not anymore. Uh, hey, Elfroot, my favorite, your favorite, everybody's favorite, Elfroot. Awesome. Let's see, is there anybody, anything else nearby here that's interesting? Let's see, we've got a merchant here. Did I look at this merchant to see what they were selling? Actually, I bet you this merchant wasn't here before. And they're here now that the undead are gone. Uh. We won't forget the Inquisition help from no one else would, I promise. You better not forget it. It was a lot of work, I tell you what. Nice of you to show up, party. Yeah, let's see here. We got a store. Buy and sell. Let's see what they've got. What kind of stuff are they selling? Um pretty cool great sword, I guess. But the rest of the stuff just really isn't that useful. Got anything else here? No armor, no accessories. Oh, they've got some pommels, grips, hafts. Uh they got um blank runestone runestones. They got a couple of things here. No schematics, no recipes, okay. Well, nothing I'm immediately interested in, but um, it's good to know that it's there, right? I think so. Um, there's no sense in looting that because... Um, we'll finally have someone to trade with. <laughs> yeah, there's no sense in looting that because my inventory is full anyway. So, it would seem as though it is time for me to do the inventory dance. Hey, who's Gold? Let's see what Gold has to say. Did we talk to him already? What's up? You have nothing to say to me? You're just gonna... Okay, he has nothing to say. So anyway, um, yeah, I need to take care of inventory. There's still all kinds of stuff to do here. So off camera, I will probably go back to Skyhold and uh, take care of inventory. And when we resume, we'll probably resume in Skyhold because we're going to need to check in on the War Council anyway and all that jazz. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, won't you consider leaving a like? Or heck, maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. It'd be good to hear from you. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.